Okay, my friends, here it is. The video that is going to hit you with some truth bombs. So let us get into it. Now, at this point in the game, I am receiving lots of messages and emails and DMs and Instagram things and all kinds of contacts from you guys, which is awesome. Keep them coming. I love interacting with you guys and seeing all this, uh, your gardens and all of that. I love hearing your experiences, all of that. Put it in the comments. You can email me pictures, tag me on Instagram, all that stuff. It's all great, okay? But here is why I'm making this video in response to a lot of what I'm seeing, okay? So today is the beautiful solstice. And that means that today is the longest day of the year, meaning that the most hours of daylight are today. From here out, it is gonna begin going the other way. Up until now, the days have been getting longer. Now they're gonna peak for a, a couple of days and then they're gonna start going down. So in a way, winter is coming. Yes, I know, sorry, but it's true. Uh, so, <clears throat> a lot of you guys have contacted me and said, Nate, this year has been a complete fail. Can I still plant anything? What can I do? And they send me pictures and some of these plants that they have, they say, I'm trying to give it this and that fertilizer. I'm trying to do this and that to it, you know, using these different techniques and all of that. And, and so what should I do? And I'm seeing the pictures and based upon my experience, I know, I know that it's difficult to make the call, but here I'm going to do it for you. Okay. If you're nursing things along and they're all sickly looking and they don't look like they're thriving and you don't know what's wrong, you've been giving it fertilizer, you've been trying other things, pull it. I know, I know, but you have to start fresh, okay? So a lot of people are wanting to, it's only solstice and people are talking about, I've had a failure this year. My friend, not even close. We do not throw in the towel, not even close. Really, we never throw in the towel but we, we go out on our shield, okay? That's the way to do it. And so every moment uh, th that you have left in the season, you need to be utilizing it. And so do not think that this year has been a failure. If you've got some plants that are sickly or even if the, the insects have got things that you guys have sent me pictures of insects devouring some of your stuff and you're not going to get a harvest from that, you know, uh, but that's okay. Pull it and put something else in there. You still have time. Even if I just got one today from someone in Alberta, Canada, whose first frost is September 1st. You know pretty early so and they're like I, I feel like giving up is there anything I can plant and I'm like my friend there's tons of things you can plant which I will show you in a moment okay so what I'm saying is that do not uh, think by any way that the season is over because there's things that you have to start up early and, and that take a long time like your tomatoes and your peppers and your eggplants your pole beans and your winter squash and your watermelons those are your corn those kind of things uh, you know, flint corn, field corn, those kind of things. Yes, the game, the day is past. Okay, the time to plant those is in the rear view mirror. But you still have plenty of time to plant other things that are going to thrive uh, still in this season. And I will show you exactly here in a moment what we're talking about. And here I'm going to let you in on a little secret that sometimes plants just die. Sometimes plants just don't thrive. And so don't beat yourself up over it because even the weeds around here, which are vicious, even they just die sometimes based upon the weather conditions and all of this. It's only rained one time this entire summer. So plants don't thrive like that. So don't beat yourself up. But first I want to reiterate the fact that if you have sickly little plants, don't waste your time and your garden real estate just nursing them along. Make the call, pull them, compost them, turn them into fertilizer, whatever it is, but immediately the same day, the same hour, put something back into its place. And this is why I always recommend having things that are ready to go. So always have a few collard greens, a few uh, uh, of the Swiss chard, a few of the kale plants, uh, a few of the um, ground cherry plants, you know, things that are really fast and that you can put right in there and they will just keep growing. And uh, so it doesn't matter how short the season in. Always have those things on deck. Even if you have to go and buy some, it's okay. You, you can do that. It's, uh, but always have something on deck ready to put in there. Now, it doesn't have to be a plant that is already started up though. So if you have no plants uh, and, and you have a sickly kind of garden and you have no plants ready to start up, still do not despair because these things I'm going to show you, you can start right now. Okay, so if you had to pull things out of your garden, one of the number one things I'm going to recommend, guys, is the green beans, okay? Dragon tongue green beans, also the uh, Kalima green beans. These are really fast, 
55 days, okay? You will have a harvest still this year. Even if you're in the Alberta zone, you can plant these and directly sow these seeds, all right? And you will get a harvest still. Also, bull's blood beets, any of the red beets, but I love the bull's blood because it's all just dark red and uh, they're very fast. So pull out the sickly little dying plants, put in some bull's blood plants. That's the way to do it. Also, the time is coming for uh, the fall, the stuff that we're going to plant for the fall. So actually, I think the next video that I make will be about how to start things now at the beginning of July for a fall harvest because you got to time it right. No matter what zone you're in, you got to time it right. And so the next video will explain that. But in this video, I'm just saying there's still hope, my friends. You can still plant peas. Uh, you can plant China Jade cucumbers, any of the cucumbers. You still got some time to plant, although don't mess around because the cucumbers can take some while. Uh, but definitely any of the leafy greens like the lettuce, the uh, Japanese giant mustard, any of the, 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 you know, oriental greens. I mean, it's still for most of us, it's still uh, blazing hot summer and it's still too early to plant most of this stuff. But for those of you concerned about the end of your season or whatever, you still got time, okay? But even with the heat, you can plant the bull's blood, uh, beets, and the green beans all day, no problem, and they will thrive. Also, you still have time for the edamame, okay? In most growing zones, definitely here you do. Also, summer savory. It's a delicious herb, like a combination of, uh, of uh, oregano and thyme. Not so much oregano, it's just, it's delicious, okay? It's good to eat with the uh, green beans. And so, s fry these up together is really good. Of course, you can plant radishes at any time. 25 days to harvest, no problem. So, guys, the point here is that the season is not over. There is no such thing as failure if you have the right state of mind. And what is that state of mind? That is the state of mind of a student, always and forever a student, an observer, a learner. And so if you have things that failed this year in the garden, observe and make mental notes and literal notes about what went wrong or what you observed. And then that way you can utilize that for next year and to make small adjustments to your plan and your program. And like that, we learn for the future. And that is how we acquire the direct firsthand experience. And like that, as a learning experience, there are no failures. So this year's not been a failure. It's not going to be a failure. Just pull the sickly and dying stuff, plant the good stuff in there. You still got time. Don't worry about it and shower it with the good stuff. Focus on the microbes in the soil. Make some of the, the uh, uh, fertilizers, apply it. And uh, guys, you are going to have a bountiful year. There's still plenty of time, my friends. There is no failure. So pay attention for the next video because it's going to show you exactly how I set up the, uh, the, the area for the starting up of the uh, fall garden in the blazing sun middle of summer and then exactly what varieties I'm starting and uh, all of that and the timing on when you want to plant them. And this timing will be true for zones four, five, six, and seven, give or take. Okay, so I will see you there. Also, uh, right here, every Saturday at 12 noon Eastern time, we have a live Q&A where I, uh, we have a great chat. we got a great community here. So check out the links in the description uh, for all kinds of good stuff. Also, check out the comments uh, below because lots of people are sharing their firsthand experience. we got a lot of good people in this community. So I'll see you next time, my friends.